Where's that version of what the hell was that? Um, okay. What's that? Hey there, it's John, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're gonna be jumping into longest awaited update. We've been waiting for this for many, many years, and it's finally here, guys. The poisonous potato update. I mean, who else but Motion could have come up with something like this? It's freaking amazing. I am so excited. Let's let's uh let's go. It's potato. All right, well, this seems like a uh, normal world. Unless we do a full-on playthrough, I don't think we're gonna be getting any uh, potato items. So, to speed this along, that's right. We can go here and, oh, look, a potato tab that's slightly askew. Click on, oh, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion about this in just a little bit, but for now, let's grab our potato portal because Apparently that's a thing, this ginormous weird portal. Uh, we got poisonous potatoes, poisonous potato plant, fries, uh, slices, sticks. Aren't sticks really just fries? But hey, you know, you do you. Potato chips, very cool. Hash browns, that's right. A pedestal, a potato eye, a potato-ish great staff of the peasant. Sure. Potato of knowledge. Ooh, I like that. Potato of knowledge amount 50 and potato of knowledge amount 100. Then we got, you know, a hot potato. Got ourselves a golden poisonous potato and an enchanted golden potato. A hammer. Knock back 10. Uh, some potato toes and some potato chest plate. But we also have a poisonous palatra. A palatra. Of course you do. Uh, a frying table and a potato cutter as well as this. Here, let's go ahead and create our kitchen really quick. Uh, th there and and there. I mean, that's pretty cool. Again, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion in just a minute about this stuff because I'm kind of bent about this entire update. We'll do our potato pedestal. And then we also have potato planks and potato stems, flotator, a flotato, a powerful potato, strong roots and weak roots, a bunch of different wood as well as signs. I mean, these look like bamboo, honestly. Potato sprouts and all these other potato type items, including potato diamond ore and lapis and gold and all the ores. Yay. Poisonous mashed potato. We got a bat potato, a poisonous potato zombie, a toxifin slab, whatever, corrupted potato peel. Okay, cool. So then we have whatever these are, potato peels. These are all different potato peels. And then we got potato paintings. All right, we're gonna collect said potato paintings. Let's see what these mobs are. There's a bat potato. It's a potato with bat wings, okay. A zombie with a potato head or with potato skin, really. It's kind of, gr looks more zombie-esque in all honesty. Okay, uh, a squished guardian. It's like a potato guardian. And a mega spud. What the hell? Oh, it's a boss. Mega Spud the Clunky Contaminator. Okay. Oh, he leaves little things behind. And we got some uh, some paintings here. We gotta go. Can we, can we not place these paintings down? No. Okay. There's a potato dude. A Pollock potato. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. And uh, yeah. Cool. And then last but not least, we got this guy. We're gonna leave good old potato boss there. And we're gonna jump on through into the potato void. Oh, I'm on an edge here. Oh, that was kind of dangerous. Luckily I can fly. Tibla says non plus ultra, whatever that means. Look at the water. Look at this. The mobs here are what we saw up there, what we pulled up there. And this is the potato aether. There are slime. This is where you get your, uh, your ancient debris. You can get as much as you like, apparently. You can get all the ancient debris you want here. See, this is what I think that, that Minecraft is missing is, um, one, this, uh, kind of what we've been asking for for years, you know, the aether, and two, uh, farms, like out farms out in the open. Like, we see, like, little gardens, but we don't see farms. And uh, this is really cool with the green water. We know Minecraft is able to do this, too. Some slime. So so here here's my here's the, my gripe about this. This is really cool, by the way. Look at the, the particles. It's, like, raining slime from the air it's pretty cool i think it's really cool H here's my thing right look i got potato boots on i got a got this whip 
I got this thing here. I think it's a lead where you can pull things with it. It'll shoot off and it'll attract whatever it is I'm I'm shooting at to to bring it to me. Does that make sense? Like I can shoot at this. Oh, it's it's a grappling hook. It's a freaking grappling hook. We have a vanilla grappling hook. Uh, take note, programmers, <laughs> mod mod developers. Look at this. Look at everything that we have. I've got a grappling hook. I have what essentially is the Aether. Literally what we've been asking for for almost a decade now is another dimension. But where do they put the effort to? A gosh darn freaking uh, April Fool's joke. That's great. This is fantastic that they added this. But if it stays, that's even better, obviously. They're not going to keep it because it's an April Fool's joke. Because ha ha ha, April Fool's, look at all the work we did on this. That's why you didn't get crap for an update is because we've been working on this. Cool stuff that we put out every time there's April Fool's. The amount of work we put in into things. There's a hammer. I mean, cool. We have a hammer now. Look, there's even a pan on this cauldron that's cooking things. Why don't we have this in vanilla, vanilla Minecraft? Why is this a model in not our regular everyday gameplay? Why does it have to be for an April Fool's joke? This is, I mean, in all honesty, this is a really cool... This is a really cool freaking world. Uh, what do you call it? Um, dimension. We even have these spores that are coming out of the ground. I mean, I know that a lot of this stuff is just retextured. Obviously it is. But that means it's easy for them to do. Look at this. We have all this new wood. We have this. Boom. It's I, I believe it's potato spores of some sort or something, right? Potato buds. Okay, cool. It doesn't have to be potatoes. It could be literally anything. This is a really cool world. And I bet you there's a ton of ore in this. If I were to dig around, that's why they made all the ores. There's even hanging fruit, which are probably potatoes. Oh, it's a lantern. They have a glowing lantern. This is really freaking cool. What is this you say? Uh, okay, there is a village with a maze. Again, they, these are like POIs from like, what would you see in Fortnite, right? But we don't have that. We have, look at this. This even has a maze door. That's freaking cool. Hey, Potato villager, how you doing, buddy? No, we don't get we don't get mazes. We don't get ma cool maze doors. But <laughs> I mean, it's frustrating because this is really really cool. It would be cool if it was in vanilla freaking Minecraft. There's this little island down here, just all by its lonesome, with some trees on it. Okay, so look, I found I, I, I kind of like wandered around and I found this other part. I thought this ended like there was like a kind of like the old end island you know where it has an end to it it doesn't really continue on until you find the end cities no this goes for freaking ever look at this this is a, a little garden area looks like it's got little paths they don't do steps i don't know why mojang doesn't do steps or half or half uh, blocks but look they built a bridge to go up where there's a transition with fences and everything and there's like lanterns and this is just freaking cool. And there's more over here. There's just, you know, fencing, like random fencing around, which I feel like could easily be in vanilla Minecraft. So we, there's different biomes here. Uh, what biome is this? Hold on a second. Arboretum. This is a hash because it's hash browns. So hash is their desert fields. This is the wastelands. This is where we started off. Corruption. Oh, so this is like a corrupt forest. This is really cool. I mean, honestly speaking, this is really cool. I mean, I'm glad that Mojang did something like this. The, the part that I'm angry about is that they can do something like this and they choose to only do it for April Fools. And that's bothersome to me because they're clearly capable of doing this. Is this is this Mojang's way of crying out for help? My son said this earlier. Is this a Mojang's way of crying out for help? Say, hey, Minecraft has or uh, Microsoft has our hands tied. We can't do anything cool except for this lame day, which is April Fool's. That's it. I mean, look at this. This is a really cool freaking dimension. Anyways, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. This is just my little gripe and kind of saying this. This is really a truly a cool freaking dimension that Mojang added for April Fool's. I think it's awesome. I wish it would stay or they do something like this to bring in like the Aether or something along those lines. Because honestly speaking, I feel like this is a lot of work to do this. And if it's not, then even more so shame on you <laughs> mojang because this is freaking terrible this is absolutely amazing and we should have this in everyday minecraft please keep this i know you're not going to listen to me you're probably not going to even hear or watch this video seriously speaking we want this we want more of this 
not potatoes, obviously, but more worlds, dimensions, stuff like this that you're clearly capable of doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, if you guys can please share this, like this, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See if we can get the word out. See if Mojang will actually hear us. Again, I highly doubt it, but who knows? Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Till the next one. See ya.